Hello everyone, welcome to day 21 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. Please like this video if, the like, if you like the content and please leave me a comment below if you want me to talk about something else in this series or after this series on productivity. And please subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of the upcoming videos full of tips. Today, we are talking about productivity guilt. This feeling of guilt that you feel when you are not working, basically. And this happens to early career researchers a lot, but it doesn't mean that if you are more senior, you are immune to that. So I will give you three tips to be able to navigate this productivity guilt and to overcome that. And as a result of that, be more productive. Tip number one, accept that whatever you do will ever be enough. Just, it won't. It won't be enough for you. It won't be enough for society because we live in capitalism. The more you give, the more is expected of you. And and also don't fall into the trap of expecting more and more and more and more of yourself as if you're superhuman because you are not. You're a regular human being just like everybody else. Tip number two, stop comparing yourself with others. Someone else might seem to you as a very productive person but you don't know what else is going on with them. You're just not comparable. Your brains are different. Your backgrounds are different. Your nervous systems are different. Whether you're neurodivergent or not, the type of work you're doing, the people you are working with, everything is different. So stop comparing yourself with others. Do what you can in a way that you can recover from by tomorrow don't do more don't do so much work that you have to like lie down on the couch for two days to be able to recuperate that's the idea and tip number three do not forget that productivity does not equate to the time you spend working remember the t triad time energy and attention management all are equally important for productivity to happen. So you can be spending a lot of time on a, on a certain thing, but if you are low on energy, and because of that, if you're not able to keep your focus, you can spend six hours on a certain task and you can produce one or two hours of work. But if you come back to the task when you are rested, you can do two hours of work in two hours. Think of it like that. It doesn't mean that if you are spending more time on work, you will produce more. It's usually the opposite. I hope these tips help you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And tomorrow I'll see you again with another tip. Until then, mind your own revisions.